Mas eu me orgulho disso, de todo dia eu manter minha família. Para mim é muito importante. Que não falta para eles. This is Dr. Hill. He's, he's already went through and cut down our path and cleared it all out. Oh my goodness. So, we are so grateful. Their main uh, collection season is between January and June when the water is high. So now we're going to go up and see the Kapiva trees firsthand and see how they collect the resin. They don't branch out for quite a while. They're growing straight up through the forest. How tall do they get? Ela chega a dar aí os seus 30 metros de altura, 30 a 40 metros. He's looking up at the tree and he's looking for the first main branch that's breaking oh. off and he's following that that line down the trunk of the tree okay. here. And that has a vein that he's going to try and tap into. properties that only come from this tree, just as nature created it. We're going to take whatever the tree gives us, and that's what we're turning into the oil. We're about an hour and a half as he's drilled through the tree to collect just this much oil. It's about 50% yields, we'll get about half as much oil. And then he'll come back to this tree six months later, and he'll be able to get about a, a liter worth of resin from this tree. This doesn't work without people like Jose Mar, who, who love these trees who have been trained up by his father and, and now is training his sons and has done this for 30 years. So we're very, very grateful to have partners that we can trust. I love the sense of pride that he carries with him. He's <laughs> <laughs> pretty amazing. But I'm proud of this, every day I maintain my family, without having a study. I feel happy for this, happy. Because every day I see my son has his food, his coffee, his lunch, his lunch. Então para isso é muito, para mim é muito importante que não falta para eles.